as fall and winter come on, it's model railroading season. And if you're thinking about starting a model railroad, here are three things I wish I had done and why I wish I did them. Hey everybody, I'm Chris and this is the Mill Run in Western Maryland. So hop on. Model railroading can be as simple as setting up a train set in the floor and enjoying watching them run around in circles. Or it can be as complicated as an entire basement empire with all the trimmings. Getting started, the number one thing to consider is what you want to do with your model railroad based on what space you have to do it in. Like, are you going to want to expand your layout later down the line? Are you looking to have a rail yard or multiple tracks? Do you just want somewhere to run your trains? I set out for just somewhere to run my trains on a 4x8 sheet of plywood and a grass mat. That of course snowballed and now I'm doing YouTube videos on model railroading. Knowing what I know now and seeing the direction my railroad has taken, there are a few things I would have done differently. Number one, I wouldn't have gone with the grass mat. Reason being, it doesn't blend well with the level of custom scenery I've added to my layout. I've actually ended up cutting out several entire sections of the grass mat, which is like throwing away money. I would have done my own custom scenery from the ground up. Number two, I would have gone with a different brand and style of track. I would have gone with a flex track and a brand like Atlas or Peco and installed my own custom roadbed. I chose Bachman Easy Track because I already had loads of it, but it's bulky and it doesn't allow for much customization. Number three, I wish I had drawn out a track plan. My layout has taken on many forms, and it still does today. But if I had drawn out a track plan, again, based on the total amount of space I had to work with, I could have avoided a lot of unnecessary work, wasted time, and most importantly, wasted money. As far as coming up with a track plan, there are programs online such as SCARM that you can use to map out your layout. There are also a lot of already drawn out plans that you can use and find online. Did you use a grass mat when you built your layout and like it? Great! Did you use Bachman Easy Track and like it? Fantastic! Did you build your layout without a track plan and it works for you? So did I! We all have to start somewhere and sometimes that means learning the hard way. So the point of this video is to share with you the three key things that if I had considered them, I could have saved myself a lot of time, money, and would have added to the enjoyment of the hobby. So what are some things that you wish you would have considered before building your layout? Please put them in the comments below. So until next time, I'm Chris with the Mill Run and Western Maryland Railway. Thank you for watching.